Hello and welcome friends on this channel of Career Ed. So today we are here to discuss the materials of the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate Course 1 that is Foundations Data Data Everywhere and the Week 5. I already made 4 videos on in the reviews of Week 1, 2, 3 and 4. So if you didn't watch that, you just go through the description. There is a link in the, of the playlist and you can access all the videos which I made on this Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is uh, data analytic uh, fairness. So and also they, in this video, there is a consist of firstly the review portion and after there is a portion where I discuss the weekly challenge questions in this video. So be with me if you come for the quizzes answers. So be with me till the last. So let's start with the week 5 overview. So in this uh, week 5 there is not anything which is uh, in particular I can share. So here mainly there are videos not any contents just like uh, they are not teaching here data analytics tools visualization or other things. The main important consideration in this uh, week 5 is data fairness how you can include all the aspects or, uh, which is uh, which may affect your data analytics in your data analytics process so that is uh, this is based on that so many things which is new here and this week 5 is for the critical thinkers means if you want to answer the weekly challenge 5 uh, with yourself then you need to go through all that videos so that you have get a basic uh, idea of what they are conveying through their videos and what is data fairness is because when you go through the quizzes there is mainly the questions about data fairness and also in course challenge there is also some questions one question about the data fairness so firstly if I am talking about data fairness data fairness so what does data fairness so firstly let us look about that a quality of data analysis that does not create any reinforced bias so maybe you have uh, you already have uh, some thinking or having uh, some misconception uh, about anything so that it cannot come in your data analytics journey so in this week 5 also there is a talks about uh, what is the future of data analyst and uh, different different type of uh, data analyst but there is no question in weekly challenge about that means uh, the analyst is not only a data analyst maybe it is related to finance sector it is related to tech sector so when it is included in finance sector the definition of the data analytics may be changed and also all the jobs of data analytics doesn't comes with the name or uh, the uh, keywords of data analytics if you see any job and you can see what is the description of that job and when you go through that what type of skills they needed you compare your skills with that job opportunity then you get any data analytics job because mainly the data analytics job have a different type of keywords uh, with uh, it comes with different type of keywords maybe it uh, comes with marketing analyst um, finance analyst take analyst and also hospitality different different type of things is there and also there is one more time one more time comes here that is data driven decision making uh, and as we all know what is data driven decision making is and the process of using facts to guide a business strategy so this is all about the week 5 means in here i mainly get about the, the five things that is data and data fairness data analyst job data analyst roles what is uh, what is in the future uh, the data uh, what is the future of data analytics and also at the last different type of data analyst are there uh, you got all the knowledge about this in this week 5 so at last i am going to uh, discuss the weekly challenge with you so here this is a weekly challenge 5 and now I am going through the questions so here this is the first question an online gardening magazine who wants to understand why its subscriber numbers have been increasing what kind of reports can be data analysts provide to help answer that question select all that apply so uh, online gardening company wants data, uh, data analysis uh, on uh, why their subscriber is increasing in recent times so in what uh, context a uh, uh, data analyst can think about this and what type of data they include it need uh, you need to mention here so there are three correct answers are there analyzing historical data such as weather patterns social media comments and past sale would provide useful insights to, into the increase in subscription numbers so there is one correct answer that is reports that describe how many 
customers shared positive comments about the gardening magazine on social media in the past year this is the correct answer next correct answer is reports that compare past weather patterns to the number of people asking gardening questions to their social media so this is the uh, second correct means this is a multiple choice question uh, so there is three co answer is three options are correct so at the last one more option is correct reports that examine how recent 50 percent off sale affected the number of subscription purchases so these are the three correct options of this question next is uh, question number two where it is uh, there is a question about a doctor a doctor's office discovers that patient are waiting 20 minutes longer for their appoint, uh, appointments yeah. than in past years in what ways could the data analyst help solve this problem select all that apply this is also a multiple choice question and here uh, multiple options are there you can choose the correct one so correct one uh, correct so here total three options are correct and this is uh, when you analyzing appointment length staffing numbers and patient numbers are likely to provide useful insights illustrate why this is happening and help this solve this problem so if you think about this then you got three correct answers the first is analyze the number of patients seen per day compared to past years next answer is analyze how many and uh, doctors and nurses are on staff at a given time compared to the number of patients with the appointments next thing is analyzing the average length of an appointment year compared to past years so this three uh, these three options are correct for this question next is the third question this question is only single correct question and the question asks about describe the differences between a question and a problem in data analytics so there is a definition about this uh, from uh, from the in a video of the week 5 and they are they talking about uh, they just explained that a question is designed to discover information where is a problem is an obstacle or a com uh, or a complication to be solved and these two things are the foundation of of business talk business yeah. tasks so this is the thing uh, for this uh, third question the correct answer is a question is designed to discover information whereas a problem is uh, an obstacle or complication that needs to be solved next thing is the uh, question for what is a question or a problem that a data analyst answers for a business so there are different uh, type of this is also a multiple choice question but single answer is correct means single option is correct for the uh, question four and the correct answer is a business task is a question or a problem that a data analyst answers for a business so the correct answer is business task next question is the fifth question what is the process of using facts to guide business strategy this is only a single uh, a single option correct type question and data driven decision making is using facts to guide business uh, strategy as i already mentioned the definition of data driven decision making in this video so here the correct answer is data driven decision making in the fifth question next is the question number six data analyst ensures their analysis is fair for uh, what reason so uh, as i talk about fairness and uh, the, there are different type of questions on fairness is here so now there are questions coming so here data analyst ensure their analysis is a fair in order to ensure their analysis does not create or reinforce bias so i already defined this term uh, when i defining the da uh, data fairness and here the correct answer is in the question number six the correct answer is fairness helps to avoid biased conclusions so this is the correct uh, option for the question number six next is question number seven and here there is a fill in the blanks type question and in the beneath there are four options so here it is the definition of fairness fairness is achieved when data analysis does not create and there is a fill uh, there is a gap means there is a blank and after that there is a word of bias so i already defined fairness multiple times that fairness is achieved when data analysis does not create any reinforced bias so here the correct option is reinforced the last question that is question number eight is little bit long and it is a multiple choice question uh, question means there are multiple options may be correct so this question is about a hostel chain a hotel chain a large hotel chain sees about 500 customers per week a data analyst working there is gathering data through customer satisfaction process they are anxious to begin analysis so they uh, they start analyzing the data as soon as they receive 50 survey responses this is an example of what select all that apply so here you can see the um, there are total 500 customers and when they get only 50 survey they started analyzing so this is not a correct way this is an example of failing to include the diverse uh, perspectives and uh, failing to have a large enough sample size the first 50 survey responses are unlikely to represent the general population and may produce bias 
nice results so this is the uh, when you when you go through this type of uh, thinking you get two correct answers here and what are that correct answers first is failing to have a large enough sample size and the next thing is failing to include diverse perspectives in data uh, collection so this is the, these are the correct answers in uh, the question number 8 and this is whole about the quiz of week 5 challenge 5 so after that we are going to discuss about the course challenge and for in, at there i scored 100% and i am also going to share that uh, the quizzes answers also with you so be with me for that also and also please subscribe my channel like this video and also share with your friends so they also get benefited by this type of videos